and welcome back so in today's tutorial we will be looking on one of the use cases which I faced recently in my project so basically the use case is like that we have a requirement where we want to uh, hide and show a form field based on some UI action so basically in simple words there will be a UI action on the form okay and if a person clicks on that form the uh, clicks on that button then only that particular you field should be visible as and on that button click only it should hide also okay so you have to just toggle the field based on the UI action click so the best way to do is how uh, we can first we have to check the visibility of the field on the form if it's visible and a person clicks on the form uh, on the button then it should get hidden and vice versa so in today's tutorial we'll be seeing what is the best way to achieve the same so as always we'll be doing this kind of experiments on our favorite table which is incident table see two i will do incident on two and for today's use case what we'll be doing we'll create a ui action okay and what that ui action will do be on the click of that ui action we will toggle the description field okay so let's get started so i'll simply go over here configure I will go to your actions. I will click on new and I will give it a name. Toggle description. I think I will give it toggle description and then I will keep the table as incident only. I'll make it on client okay and i will give on i will give a function name on toggle toggle i'll copy this out and i will make it as a form button also let's make it as primary button i think that's it okay and let's get start coding it out so it will be a client set button okay we don't want to perform any activity on server so let's write function on toggle so it will be function on toggle i'll just zoom out a little bit on toggle is let's first get let's first check whether that particular uh, button is visible or not uh, that particular description field is visible or not okay so how we can verify that so i will be doing if g underscore to form dot you must have not heard this syntax okay so don't get afraid so we will check is is visible and in that we'll be passing two attributes so the two attributes will be which particular which particular element we are looking for and to get the control for that element on the form so you can simply do that it has two attributes you can consider so it has two attributes like g and the good form dot get element let glide element okay UI LD get guide element and then you can pass the name of the field so it will be description for description and the second attribute will be g underscore form dot get control and control of which field so we will again give the description over here so this will return whether the field is visible or not okay in a boolean format so now if it's visible if it comes out to be true then what we have to do we have to just hide it out so we can simply g underscore form dot set this play 
of which field again description to false because why false because the above statement written that the field is visible on the form and if it's not okay so we'll be writing an else for that else we will make it visible equal to true okay so basically i will go through the script again so basically what we have done we have created a u action which is a form u action with a primary form style okay and it will be on client side we have given on client as a function on toggle and we have defined the function first we are checking if it's visible okay so for that we have passed to argument first is get client element and description and get control for the description field okay if it's true if it's visible on the form then we are hiding it off if it's not visible in the else then we are just showing it off okay that's it so we will just save this out and let's go to the incident form So on the incident form now we can see a field called toggle description and we have a description field over here right let's remove the technical name so we have the description field so if I click on this button this field should get disappeared why because it's currently visible on the form and vice versa so let's so let's click on this button if I click this out so as you can see the description field got disappear and if I re-click on the scene so the description field will get pop up so this is how you can control the visibility of any fields on the form okay hope you like this video and find it useful in your project also okay if till then if you have any queries on the scene please drop a comment on this video okay Till then, stay safe, stay happy and have a nice day. Thank you.